Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's a man. And, I, and, and I, I want to ask you this now. You don't have to speak on it, but I got to ask you. Because I, I reached out to Wap. I ain't talked to him when he hit me back to me. Mm -hmm. But everybody saw what happened. We mm -hmm. all saw what happened. Mm -hmm. Now, me, I think he's a talented artist. Mm -hmm. He got some hits, whatever. You know, but I want to hear from your end. I ain't spoke to him yet, but I'm pretty sure I will. Mm -hmm. Like, for the people who don't really know what happened, mm -hmm. what happened between you and YBZ and why did all that transpire? Um, really? It was misunderstanding. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, when people, other people, you put other people in your mix and shit, it, it build it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really, you know, I fuck with the dude. Like, I done brought him to the A. You know what I'm saying? Got him rooms, everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude got his own money and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just the type of person. Like, you know, I like to see everybody make it. Like I said, um, some shit had came up and it was a misunderstanding. Like I said, and I ain't like how, how the shit came about. You know, his name ended up coming in the shit. And he ain't really addressed to come to me like, you know what I'm saying? Like we was supposed to, we got each other number. Like before I hear this shit from somebody else, I was supposed to hear it from you. You know what I'm saying? And just, that's when I realized, you know, everybody not really your friends, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying like, dude, I ain't my friend and shit like that, but it's just everybody, like I ain't grow up with them. So I can't expect that same loyalty that I'm gonna give to niggas, you know what I'm saying? And, um. Shit, we ended up seeing each other. It was already just in the L. Mm -hmm. It was already in the L. And um, shit, we just fucking decided to catch a little friend one. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's, it ain't been nothing since. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't tripping. I mean, we can do it again and again and again and again and again. But at the end of the day, that shit really ain't making me no money. So at the end of the day, the shit ain't making me no money. Uh, getting niggas on the internet hyped up and shit. You know what I'm saying? Thinking of me, oh, damn, post the whole fight. You know what I'm saying? That's all I be saying. Like, just let shit like that. But, man, shout out to YBZ. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Nigga doing this shit. Yeah. I support shit like that. I like niggas doing that shit because I don't want to be the only nigga shining. If I'm the only nigga shining, everybody going to be looking at me like I'm a burger. It's crazy. And, I, and, I, and man, I tell this to everybody I talk to from down there. The sound that y'all have down there, what's going on down there is so special. It can be powerful. Like everybody could be on. They just play their position. Do what they gotta do. I mean, y'all had y'all differences, whatever. I hope that y'all can get past it. You know, he a young I mean, guy. You know, like he a young dude. I'm 24 years old, dude. Like 19. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of feel like they younger than me. You know what I'm saying? Like they little homies. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I gotta start kind of carrying myself that way too. I just be being too cool with these niggas. Like I ain't saying you know the dudes. I ain't not just him. You know what I'm saying? It's just we on this subject, not just him, but gotta just stop being showing so much love to people, you know what I'm saying? Because people take that shit for granted, you know, at the end of the day, so. It's a business when we, at the end of the day. You gotta keep this shit business. Yeah. At the end of the day, when this shit get personal, then shit like that happen, niggas getting fights, you know. But it wasn't even about him. It was his homeboy who really boosted him up. That made him feel like Tony Montana. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what a misunderstanding came in. Just like, you know, the money bag, yo, and what you call them, people got yeah, in the middle of this shit. Him. Same shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nigga getting in the middle, got everybody putting their two cents in, yeah. you know, that shit. We just said, fuck it, what, what we gonna do? We, fuck it, let's catch a little frame one. Yeah. Well, it's all good. See, I just wanted to clear it up for the viewers, because mm -hmm. they, they wanted to know. They wanted to know. Oh, I'm already, man, so many people been hitting me up about that shit. It just. It wasn't really nothing, you know, it was a little scuffle, you know what I'm saying? Like, I salute to him, he got in a scuffle. A lot of these niggas go run to their game. Yeah, true, you know what I'm saying? True. A lot of these niggas wouldn't take a loss. A lot of these niggas wouldn't even do that. A lot of niggas would be on that bitch still trying to, you know, do going on with his shit, I'm going on with my shit. That shit behind a nigga, nigga ain't tripping on that shit, you know what I'm saying? But shit, it is what it is, you know, at the end of the day, <laughs> it is what it is, like, yeah. I can't. And it's crazy, like, you know, recently I said, what, well, this day two, right there, little, little, um, the, the, the LSU player, the mm -hmm. basketball squad, the video came out yesterday, mm -hmm. they was just having a fight. They was just having a little you know, scuffle. Out, pop, pop. And that was hurtful, you know what I'm saying, that's, it just, man, that's an example for the kids, you know what I'm saying, like, that's just an example for the kids. That man, sadly, he had to lose his life, you know what I'm saying, for somebody else to learn from a situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like both of them was wrong at the end of the day. I feel like everybody out there was wrong at the end of the day because we all 
Like, I know I had a fight and all that shit, but at the end of the day, man, we all black. You know what I'm saying? We need to be trying to lift each other up, man, right? instead of bringing each other down. True. You know, at the end of the day. True that. True but, you know, True rest in peace to the little homie Wade. You know what I'm saying? Shh. To the little homie that's in jail, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that happen. You know what I'm saying? Shit like this happening. It's just history repeating itself, man. That's crazy. History repeating itself over and over, you know. I want, I want to take it this way too. You know, you talking about uplifting and staying with each other, and, you know, helping each other. I was in the club last night. I was in, a, in some club, gold rooms, like it ain't mm -hmm. too far. Just right there, yeah. And like when I tell you, I heard nothing but Atlanta music. That's how you gonna hear. Like, they support each other. Like I was like, man, like everything. Like, Atlanta, Atlanta, they might play a mainstream really? song. I'm finna tell you how deep this shit is. Yeah, talk to it. Every artist from Atlanta right now, damn near, was friends before this shit. That's how deep this shit is. Like, that's like, I get on right now. Mm -hmm. I blow it right now. My nigga wanna rap. I'ma put my nigga on some chains and a fit. Fuck it, put him on that bitch, even if he can't rap. You feel me? Go to one of the five fucking engineers, make him sound good as a motherfucker. Now we all on top. That's my partner. He in the dough. So if I fall off, you can put me back in the dough. And that's how they doing it. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like I'll see the need to get get like that. But two nigga too busy, you know, trying to take the shine, lead the shine for themselves. Nigga don't want to leave nothing on the table for nobody else. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Cause I was like, man, like everybody in Atlanta. And then not only from the club scene, I just, I'm, I'm been, I've been searching. Like, I'm going to Atlanta. I see a lot of Atlanta rappers. They post each other all, all day. Like, yeah, I ain't saying I never seen nothing like it, but I never seen nothing like it as far as when come, people coming together out here. Usually it's like, usually it's like, you know, out here, if a nigga post your shit and that's my partner, you my partner. I, my partner to post it, so I might just post that bitch too. That's how I go out here in the BR, nigga. Oh man, post my shit too, man. You know, mm -hmm. nigga don't want to even let a nigga get they shine. Like I post people videos all on the time on my page and shit. Yeah. You know, nigga hit me, damn, man, post my shit. Well, let them get they shine for you know. Let me post they shit for the day. I will post your shit tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But so, well, but then at the end of the day too, yeah. niggas be want to get they shit posted. Nigga don't post your shit. So, yo, that's, that's, that's crazy too, you know man. What I'm like, sometimes, like, I'm gonna say, I know you go, you still gotta do, go back, you go back and forth to build sometimes, I know. Oh, but yeah. see, like, out here, I don't, I don't know what it's like out here, but like, I'll be like, damn, like, you already out. Like, there's so much stuff going on down in that city, like, you know, and it's like, you still be posting in the hood, all over the city. Like, why you, why would you, like, go back there and, and now you out here doing better? Um, honestly, back home, mm -hmm. you know, the love back home. Out here, you know, we aliens. You know, we aliens to the city. You know what I'm saying? Like, I might go places, some people know a nigga, but I love it out here because at the end of the day, I can still be a normal person. I go back to BR, you know, we got properties and shit out there. That's what a nigga really be focused on. Like, right now, in the BR, I got damn near, what, five go car, four, four wheelers type shit. Like, I've been working on shit like that. Like, just, you know, trying to see shit come together, man. I ain't... It, it's better than me selling a rock on the corner and going to jail tomorrow, so... Uh, but, yeah, you still a country boy, huh? I mean, you know, I just... Everybody doing the dirt bikes, the four-wheelers and shit. I really want to start a big-ass go-kart trend. You know what I'm saying? But... You should. That's really what I've been fucking with. Trying to get niggas in the city to come out and race they shit. Yo, I be seeing... I be seeing man Marvin going dumb all the yeah, time. Yeah, he... That nigga there, he, he fucking with them cars. Yeah. That boy fuck up them cars. He fucking demoted real good. But well, he be he always racing. He always doing some stuff. Oh, yeah, he burning out in five point and shit. Mm -hmm. That nigga doing this shit. That nigga a real mechanic though. Yeah. Like a real mechanic at heart. Like yeah. If if mechanic was a profession, if he wasn't rapping, that nigga mechanic would be his profession. Like yeah. this nigga could take a motor out of something and put that bitch in something else type shit. That's what made me think of that when you said that I be on doing. That's what I do with them go cars. Like oh, yeah. go get them bitches and put two twelve cc motors on it. That's seven point five horsepower. On the go car, you know what I'm saying? Like I got a 10 horsepower right now. Like that's just, that's just shit that make I get in this bitch and stomp this bitch to the flow police behind me. Fuck it, going all the way with it till the bitches catch us. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that.